and hello again welcome to another video so in this video i thought i would do something a little bit different to speed paints and usual mediums and um lately i've been trying out a bit of lino cutting slash printing so i purchased a pack um specifically for creating lino cuts so it came with cutters a few lino sheets soft lino and hard lino um and a few other bits and bobs like a tray and a roller and some ink and so I thought I'd do something a bit autumny since the weather's suddenly dipped and um, obviously a leaf was the most autumn thing I could think of um, so that's what I decided to do so here you're seeing me just sketching it out on some soft lino and um, soon you'll see me start cutting it out with various cutters um, yeah so whilst you watch me just do that I just wanted to mention that I have recently just found a job and I've been working at this job for two weeks now and that's why my content might be a little um like stuff that can be quick to do especially if I've had a long week um and some of my content might be a little sparse or I might not even post something till you know it'll be f hopefully I'm trying to stick to once a week but <clears throat> excuse me I'm trying to stick to once a week but sometimes it might be at very varied times and days um, of the week that it gets the video puts out um, yeah so I just thought I'd make anyone watching aware of that so um, yeah so here you see me cutting it out and I'm cutting out all the veins it's basically my idea was where I was drawing with the pencil that's what I'd be cutting out and all the uh, liner space would be where the ink would be pasting <coughs> sorry excuse me um, yeah, so I've been enjoying lino cutting. I've been doing a lot of Christmassy things because I've been trying to do cards, make my own cards for Christmas. Um, and although this is an autumn themed thing, I thought it could also be used for Christmas um, as well. So I'll come back to that a bit later on in the video. Um, yeah, I'll stop talking until there is something else to say with this. Sorry that the quality of this video is a little bit poor. Because I'm kind of tired after work, I brought all my filming stuff downstairs. So it's at a bit of a weird angle. I'm doing it on my lap. Um, and sometimes it will go off frame. <laughs> and sometimes the light will be very dim because the sun has gone down. It's that late in the evening. Um, so you might see that quite a lot in my videos. Um, so sorry about that. Anyway so there were a few things that um this is like my i think it was like my fourth attempt at lino cutting and um, my second attempt attempt on soft lino and i it was it was good for, for a simple shape like this it wasn't too difficult to do but there were a few areas where i accidentally did cut off a few places that i didn't really want to so when you see me printing um the one of the bottom edges um, is supposed to have kind of like a point to it and I've accidentally chopped a little bit of that off so it looks a bit odd and um, same with the stem the stem has a big chunk out of it so yeah that's that looks a bit odd when I'm printing it but it's not too bad and it kind of looks very homemade which is, is what I was really going for Um, yeah as you can see this is the light going down in the evening um, hence why it's a bit dark and am I I'm not paying attention to where it is on the camera clearly So after I've done all the cutting on the inside, I start to cut out the background, which um, I left in, even though it's kind of monotonous, because I thought it was quite, quite an interesting looking process, and it's quite, actually quite satisfying to watch me cut it out, because I do it all in straight lines, and it's um, it looks very satisfying. It actually left a bit of a border before I cut it off, which, um, again, like I keep saying, <laughs> is very satisfying.
So, to, to speak about something whilst this is going on, um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, Inktober is fast approaching, and I know it's kind of like half a month away, but I am starting to plan for it just because, like I mentioned, I will be at work, so it's going to be more difficult for me to find the time to do something every day. Um, so, I'm thinking of doing a bit of a comic, and that's all I'll say about it for now. Um, but you'll please let me know if you if there's any ideas that you might want to run by, by me about Inktober, um, some themes, things that make, might make it easier on me in the evening to do, so I just thought I'd mention that. Um, so here, this is me trimming off that excess just because when you print it, I didn't want any, you know, excess pieces of ink from that weren't the pattern, if you know what I mean. And um, this is me using the tray and roller with the ink and starting to roll it over, and it looks quite impressive. I'm quite, I'm really glad with how, I'm really glad, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I wanted to print it on some cards so I did it on a mixture of white and pink cards again the light doesn't really show it off very well but they all turned out very well and I'm very pleased with that and then the end of the video that you'll see soon is me kind of um, just doing a few little trial and errors and I thought I'd leave this part of the video in because I was just going to leave it as the liner cutting and printing and that's it but I thought I would um, expand the video and maybe show some of the processes I went on afterwards where I was kind of just playing around with some FW inks and Liquitex acrylic inks to kind of just embellish the print a little bit more so in a moment you'll see me mix some reds and yellow ink this is back in my normal setup hence why it looks a bit better um, so here I'm dabbing it on and I'm not trying to stay in the lines I wanted it to look messy and kind of um, homemade and then in a moment you'll see me use my gold and my um, copper inks and I spilt all my gold which I was very unhappy about and I was this is me frantically sucking it back up with the pipette um, but this one didn't turn out as nice as I wanted it's a bit messier the inks a bit thicker so it, it covered it a bit more than I hoped so I ended up using black ink to go over it and redesign the card um, and for some reason because I spilt the ink I wanted to dab it in the background <laughs> um, so yeah these are not like final uh, designs for cards I was just trying some other things out and seeing what they look like I kind of like the FW ink with the red and the yellow so I think I might do that if I'm going to give these as cards to people um, but this is just a final look and I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different tell me if you do enjoy the um, the printing because I've, I've really enjoyed doing it and I'd like to maybe make some more videos on it so please let me know in the comments below give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more so thank you very much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye time because I absolutely love it there and there's a big kind of foresty walk you can kind of go on on the grounds and I don't know if you can see that basically there's this tunnel and on this side it's like a field so it's very bright and everything on the, on the other side it's 